New at 6, we continue to press for answers tonight about the Rottweiler named Loco who used to live behind this fence. In just six months, he attacked three people but was able to stay with his owner, and we wanted to know why. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live at the animal shelter. And Jen, you found the laws make it difficult. Eric, it takes a lot to deem a dog dangerous and even more to put an animal down. Now, five years after Loco's first attack, he's now being held here at the Denver Animal Shelter. But had something been done in 2011, it could have prevented three other people from being attacked. It's kind of horrific for a, a person to have their children out not knowing if they're going to be attacked. I'm not this neighbor is too afraid to show her face. But says she's terrified of the Rottweiler named Loco who used to live down the street. Once you know he's growling at you, you know he's he's ready on the tack. Denver Animal Control has the dog now, but only after Loco mauled four people. One of those victims, a 20-month-old who required surgery. This is serious in that. Lynn Kimbrough works in the Denver DA's office. She says the dog's owner, Martin Pena, is now charged with a felony and misdemeanor for owning a dangerous dog. What does it take to reach the level of a felony charge for a dangerous dog? So it takes, uh, it takes quite a bit. We don't see these cases very often, at least at the felony level. Kimbrough says normally these cases are dealt with at the city level. We asked Denver Animal Control why it took so long to take Loco from his owner. But they wouldn't give us an answer, citing the ongoing investigation. The only reason that uh, that we're talking about dogs in a criminal realm at all is because uh, it's a public safety issue. For the state to put the dog down, his owner would have to be found guilty and exhaust all of his appeals. Only then can the court uh, issue an order to have the dog put down. Which means Loco's fate is pending. Now, Denver Animal Control tells us that they don't have a specific ordinance for euthanizing pets. They pretty much look on a case-by-case -case basis to make a decision. Now, here's something else interesting that we learned today. Had this dog been a pit bull, which is banned in Denver, he likely would have been put down much sooner. Reporting live in Denver tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.